Welcome! What's the SAP GUI? In the last section, you've already learned that all employees of a company access a single SAP system. All of them use a common central database. In this video, you'll get to know how this technically works. Therefore, you learn about the client server model, the SAP GUI, and how to control this SAP GUI. By the end of the video, you'll be familiar with the three different parts of the SAP system and the graphical user interface of SAP. Let's at first have a look at the client server model. The SAP system is a unit of three different parts. In the center, there's the database server. It stores the business applications and all the business data in a central database. Because of that, it is the most critical part in any one SAP system. At the outside are you as a user. Your computer needs an interface. That's the presentation part of the software, so that you are able to interact with the database. This interface is the SAP GUI, the client of the client server model. Between the database and your computer, there's a set of application server. They fetch the business applications and the data from the database and get them on your computer. Then they take your input data and transmit it to the database server. The application server have their own operating system, a so-called technological platform, the SAP NetWeaver. The servers can be located on the premises of the company or a data center anywhere in the world or now also in the cloud. After this short overview of SAP's general structure, the client server model with database server, application server and presentation client, let's have a closer look at the last one, namely the SAP GUI. You surely know what a browser is. A program on your computer that shows images and data from the World Wide Web and enables you to interact worldwide. Nothing is stored on your computer, but instead on any server elsewhere. The SAP GUI is like a browser. It is a program of about 200 MB and must be installed on your computer so that you can interact with the applications and the data of the SAP software. The SAP GUI is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. The SAP GUI for HTML is lesser used. The current version is 7.4 and that's the version you have seen so far in this course. The SAP GUI prepares the data in order to display them on your screen. It is therefore also called the front end of the SAP system. Since we've talked about the SAP GUI as a program, let me show you next how you can control it. To customize your local layout, just click on the screen symbol in the standard toolbar and select the first entry, Options. A window called SAP GUI Options opens and shows different folders. As an example, let's just open the first one, Visual Design. With the first option, Theme Preview Settings, you can change the look of your SAP screen and Therefore, different themes are available. Let's see what they look like. So far, I've used the SAP Signature theme. This is, for example, the Blue Crystal theme, the latest one. And that is the Corpo theme, created in 2012. And lastly, the Old Enjoy theme, which sometimes appears in older training materials. In order to get the desired theme, you click the Apply button, then the OK button and afterwards Restart SAP. At this time, you know how to control the SAP GUI, in particular how to change the theme and with that you've reached the end of the video. Let's briefly summarize the main points. The SAP system is structured as a client-server model where a database server, a set of application server and a presentation client interact in order to provide or receive business applications and business data. The SAP GUI is the presentation client 
or the front end, a program that enables a user to work with the SAP system. There are several options to control the SAP GUI. The visual design can, for instance, be changed via different themes. That's all for this time. The next video will show you how to log on and log off from the SAP system. Thank you for watching and bye!